In a shocking turn of events, the Kardashian family drama has taken an unexpected twist. Khloe Kardashian, usually known for her loyalty, has publicly called out her sister Kim for her alleged shortcomings as a mother. This bombshell revelation has sent shockwaves through the celebrity world, leaving fans and critics alike stunned. Chloe didn't mince words when she hinted that Kim's priorities might be misplaced, suggesting that fame and fortune come before her children. This accusation carries extra weight coming from within the family's inner circle, and it's certainly not something anyone predicted for 2024. But the surprises don't end there. Chloe dropped another bombshell, claiming she's been the one stepping up to properly care for Kim's children for years. According to her, Kim's frequent absences have left a void that an army of nannies struggles to fill, unable to control the reportedly unruly brood. The timing of Chloe's decision to air this dirty laundry remains a mystery, but one thing's for sure. She came out swinging, holding nothing back in her critique of Kim's parenting skills. This isn't the first time Kim's approach to motherhood has raised eyebrows. Observers have long noted differences between her children's behavior and that of their cousins, particularly when comparing North to Kylie Jenner's daughter Stormy. The contrast in their demeanor has fueled speculation about the effectiveness of Kim's parenting style. Kim herself has admitted to struggling with sibling rivalry among her children, particularly between North and Saint. In a candid interview with Kelly and Ryan, she revealed North's intense dislike for her brother, describing behavior that went beyond typical sibling squabbles. Kim's apparent helplessness in addressing the situation has only added fuel to the fire of criticism surrounding her parenting abilities. What about, so, North and Saint, how are they, in terms of their dynamic, versus the way you girls were oh, growing up? I know it's so different. different genders, so but different. how different? I mean, I... I don't know if it's because she's the older sister and she, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a phase. She does not like her brother. It's so hard for me. And I thought it was like, okay, a couple months, like, you know, she's just warming up to it. She gets so jealous, you know, when I would breastfeed and all that kind of stuff. And now I just, the phase isn't going away. Like it's just she, but her thing is she thinks she's outsmarting me. She's like, we're having a tea party, mom. No boys allowed. Dad can't come too then, and like, no boys. And she'll just slam the door on her brother's face. Aww. And he'll just start crying, and it's so, like when they both are standing there, he likes to imitate her now, so if she's crying, then he'll just start fake crying. And I'm like, oh, Mimicking. one of you. Like, I can't pick up both of you, you know, and. Chloe claims she's been taking care of Kim's kids for years, as Kim is often absent. She suggests Kim relies heavily on nannies who struggle to control the children's behavior. This isn't the first time Kim's parenting has been questioned. Comparisons between her children and their cousins, especially North and Stormy, have fueled speculation about Kim's mothering skills. A recent viral video added fuel to the fire. It shows North apparently insulting Chloe's daughter True when asked to sing Happy Birthday, reigniting debates about Kim's children's behavior. Hey, we love you! Ooh, all four years old. Four sucks. But the drama doesn't stop there. Another video has surfaced, showcasing a tense interaction between Kim and her daughter, North. This time, the conflict unfolded during what was meant to be a simple photo session. As Kim attempted to capture some pictures of North, the situation quickly spiraled out of control. Instead of cooperating, North began shouting at her mother, her voice echoing with defiance. Kim, visibly taken aback by her daughter's outburst, tried to regain control of the situation. In a desperate attempt to understand North's behavior, Kim questioned her daughter about her reluctance to be photographed. However, her efforts were met with more yelling from North, who seemed determined to resist her mother's requests. This latest incident adds to a growing list of public outbursts from Kim's children, fueling ongoing debates about her parenting style. As these videos continue to circulate online, many are left wondering, what's really going on behind the scenes in the Kardashian household, and how will Kim address these mounting concerns about her children's behavior? Why don't you want, what, no what? No pictures. Why? Oh, oh, my bed. In a similar incident, North found herself confronting paparazzi, vehemently urging them not to photograph her. Many sided with North, recognizing her right to express frustration over intrusive camera flashes. As a parent, it was expected that Kim would manage the situation, but it seemed she didn't prioritize addressing North's concerns. Oh, sorry, no. 
Sorry, no. Adding to the drama, a shocking revelation surfaced during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Kim disclosed troubling details about North attempting to bite her nanny and even attempting to have her fired. I did like, also, over the by weekend. The way. But you I know, will again. North tried to bite my nanny and said, I don't want a nanny anymore. You the nanny, simply trying to do her job, faced the challenge of North's attempts to physically harm her. The situation escalated when people criticized Kim for allowing North's behavior to go unchecked. One instance that sparked controversy was when Kim revealed on Ellen that North would intentionally mock their home, aiming to hurt Kim emotionally, knowing how much the house meant to her. According to Kim, this behavior was North's manipulation tactic. What's the meanest thing your child has said to you? Every time I get into some kind of disagreement with my daughter North, she thinks this is a dig to me, and she'll say, your house is so ugly, it's all white. Who lives like this? She just thinks it like gets to me, and it is kind of mean, because I like my house. Chloe finally broke her silence on Kim's parenting, painting a picture of neglect hidden behind a veil of luxury. The catalyst? A seemingly simple incident involving little Chicago's hair. When Kim, overwhelmed with her busy schedule, sent her children to Chris's home to prepare for school, it set off a chain of events. Chris, apparently also too occupied, called in Chloe for backup. Upon arrival, Chloe discovered Chicago's hair in disarray, prompting her to reach out to Kim for permission to fix it. Kim's reaction was unexpectedly defensive, accusing Chloe of judging her parenting skills. This knee-jerk response hinted at Kim's underlying insecurities about her role as a mother. Chloe, known for her straightforward nature, didn't hold back. She confronted Kim about her frequent absences and reliance on others to care for her children. This revelation suggests that the kids' behavior issues might stem from a lack of consistent parental presence rather than mere spoiled attitudes. Well, I have a bone to pick with you. What now? Just about your delivery on things. Okay. The other day when you called me and asked me if you can do Shai's hair, I don't know if condescending's the word, but you're very, like, shaming. Like, can I do Shai's hair? Do you mind? And you're like, because <laughs> her hair has, like, so much product in it. And I'm just like, I know. Mm hmm I had a really hard week. So I said to my mom, can you please watch my two little ones? I'll send them over, and can you get them ready for school? Chicago put in this hair gel in her hair on the way out the door. And I was like, honestly, who cares? My mom can slick her hair in a ponytail, put it in a Who cares? And Chicago's hair, the hair gel? You were calling to not really ask me if you could do her hair, but to let me know that, no, I actually that wanted her to know hair I... wasn't washed. And if was, you don't care if I do, gross. next time I will not ask you, and I'll just, just do, do the it. hair. But yeah. if also, then if I do it, you're going to say, why did you touch that? That was an extremely hard week. Oh, I thought and you were like, extremely. do you mind if I do her hair? Because it's nasty. All Thank I you. said was, do you mind if I do Chicago's hair? Because I didn't know if you are very particular. I know her hair looks good. Thank you for reminding me wow. that I didn't have the time to do her wow. hair wow. one night before bed and wash it. What are we talking about here? I actually thought we were good. I did Shai's hair, and then I took the kids to school, and like that was really it. I had no idea she was holding on to them with a bunch of your own, time. and you decided to like harvest this and build up all this animosity towards me. When this is a you problem, I swear you just want to project whatever you're going through on and take it out on me. And I could handle it, but only for so long. I'm not going to be here all day, so if you need to slap me or something, do it. Many observers think Kim's defensive outburst stems from a growing realization that she may have fallen short in raising her children. Instead of facing this head-on, she seems to be looking for a scapegoat. One commenter praised Chloe's direct approach, saying she clocked it by identifying the real issue. They pointed out how common it is for people to blow things out of proportion when dealing with personal struggles, applauding Chloe for cutting through the noise and addressing the core problem. Another supporter of Chloe's stance suggested that Kim might be grappling with parental guilt. They advised Kim to seek professional help rather than lashing out at family members, emphasizing the importance of focusing on one's own children. 